Does anyone actually eat cereal during breakfast? Who eats breakfast anyway? So I have been using the Canon G7X Mark II for the last two or three days and I've got to be honest, I'm in love with this camera. So, can this little point and shoot camera shoot beautiful cinematic shots? Let's have a look. So I shot that segment in auto in the video mode and there are still things that you can do to make sure that you can make it look cinematic and I'm going to list them out for you. There's five simple tips that I'm going to give to you right now so if you are a Canon G7X Mark II user or you're potentially thinking about buying one in the future, check these tips out and make sure you use them so the next time you shoot you can get beautiful cinematic shots just like we did today. Right, so number one is to make sure that you are using your ND filter that is built inside your camera correctly and at the right time. And I really wanna stress this point because if you're outside and you're using the ND filter to get the nice bokeh shot in the background and you walk inside and you forget to turn it off, then all of the shadows in your shots will be really grainy and it will just look unprofessional and it also makes it difficult for the viewer to watch. It starts to look like phone footage. So when you go from an outdoor situation to an inside situation, make sure you turn the ND filter off. And the best thing to do is use the function button that you have been given on your G7X and mark that as your ND filter. So as soon as you walk inside and outside, you just click the function button and you can turn it on and off instead of going deep into the settings because that can be a bit annoying. So yeah, that is number one, the ND filter. Use it at the right time. Number two is to take full advantage of the IS that is actually built within your camera. Now IS stands for image stabilization. And thankfully the Canon G7X have given you image stabilization within your lens. So you can get nice shots and it should just be able to stabilize it so you don't get that horribly jerky motions. It just ruins videos, it doesn't look cool. And this is one of the main reasons again why I did go for the G7X Mark II because when I did look at the reviews, the image stabilization is actually incredible. Uh, for, for like the size of this point and shoot, it's really good. Now there's three different levels you can use. There's low, medium and high. I keep mine on medium um, because I don't want to go too high because sometimes you can get the really jerky, weird motion and, and I'm not so much into that. So I keep it at medium. So when I am getting them nice B-roll shots and I'm making small movements with my hands and the camera, it just, it just works and, and it takes out them little body movements within the camera and it makes it look good. So make sure you take full advantage of this. Number three is to make use of the FPS settings. There is 25 frames per second and this is what I'm currently shooting with right now. And when I edit this video, it will be rendered in 25 frames per second. And there is also 50 frames per second. You can use this to slow your footage down by half because it takes each frame and it actually puts it back into the 25 frame per second render that you are making and that will give you buttery, smooth, slow motion. This is the quickest and easiest way to get beautiful cinematic shots. And if you use this and your image stabilization, this is like the perfect like combination that you can use to start getting incredible shots. And this is with a point and shoot camera. So yeah, I can't believe the settings they have given you for such a cheap camera. So yeah, you want to make sure you use these settings and you use them correctly. And yeah, just it will really enhance your filmmaking skills. 
Canon G7X Mark II, you absolute beast. Boom! Okay, number four is active track. Now, every shot that I've done so far on this camera, I have been using active track. There's always a subject or, or person or something you're filming, right? All you have to do on this camera, go onto the screen, is a little is a little touch screen, click the object that you want in focus, and, and make sure it's in focus, make sure the little box comes up around if it's the face, the face or whatever it is, the monument, the building, the horizon, whatever you're filming, make sure you click it and that will keep it tracked. Now when you move around to like get them nice orbit shots or you're just like getting some nice panning shots or whatever it is, that will make sure it keeps it in focus. You know, this camera has a computer inside of it and it will be able to detect perfect focus way better than your eye can. So trust the camera believe in the camera and let the camera do the work for you. That is why they make these features, to make it easier for you, so you don't have to be faffing around with focus all of the time. It's really good and, and, I'm, I, and I'm impressed. I'm incredibly impressed with the Canon G7X Mark II. You little badass, this is an absolute boost. <laughs> okay, number five is really important. Make sure you lock the exposure. Now, if you're shooting in manual mode, you don't need to worry about this. But if you're shooting in auto, it's fine. Auto is brilliant and, and it can be used in the right way. Um, make sure you lock the exposure before you start shooting. So you get your subject in frame, whatever you want to shoot, and there's a little star on the top right of your screen. Click that and that will lock the exposure. So when you move around and there's like a brighter part or a, or a darker part, the camera won't be adjusting midway through your shot to give you the right exposure. It looks really unprofessional. I've never been a fan of it. It's fine in vlogs when you just chat into the camera and you're going from indoors to outdoors and all stuff like that. That is what it's there for. But when you're getting B-roll shots, you want it to look professional, right? So just make sure you lock the exposure and everything will be A-OK, -okay, I promise you. Now, if you just use these five tips that I've mentioned today, you can still keep your camera on auto. You don't need to be faffing around with the manual settings and stuff. And you can just start getting beautiful cinematic shots right off the bat. If you do just want to see a generic vlog filmed with the Canon G7X, make sure you click the video that has just popped up right now. It's, um, it is recorded. Uh, just had a wee. If you don't want to watch it now, wait to the end of the video and there'll be a card. You can click it, watch the video. It's, it's my first thoughts on the Canon. It's me unboxing it and just taking it on a day out just to test it indoors, outdoors with a bit of B-roll. It's, really, it's, it's a fun vlog as well, so make sure you check it out. And tomorrow, guys, I have something in the post that I cannot wait for it to arrive. It's arriving tomorrow. I will be doing an unboxing of it. I will be testing out this product. Comment below and guess the product. If, if you get it right, I will pin you. Um, I know it's not that much of an incentive, but you know, I will pin you and you will be the king of YouTube. Well, you will be the king on my channel for the day. So yeah, comment below, have a guess what product is coming. I will be unboxing it, giving my first impressions and I will be taking it for a little test run. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are good. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you are new, please hit subscribe, turn on channel notifications, and also check out my Instagram. I am uploading stories, and that's where I sort of like talk to you guys on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, check out my Instagram, follow my stories, and uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Please give me a big like rating below. It really does help me out. And send a comment, say hi. I love talking to you guys all of the time. So yeah. That is today's video. Uh, make sure you check out tomorrow's. I won't mention it again. Uh, peace out. Take care. And I love you lots. And I'm still not going to hit my camera because it's new. Uh, but for now, peace out. Don't know how to end the video. Um, I'm going to turn it. You ready? Whee!